Palestinian refugee camps in Lebanon. Marlies Camp Marlies Camp is considered one of the smallest Palestinian camps in Lebanon, with an area of 500 square meters, and is distinguished by its geographical location within the capital of Beirut, near the area known as UNESCO, where the building of the Lebanese Ministry of Education and Higher Education is. It is about 93 kilometers away from Palestine. The camp was established in 1952, four years after the Palestinian Nakba, on land owned by endowments of the Marlies Orthodox Church, which it provided to Palestinian refugees at the time. The campsite marked its establishment with pine trees that were planted on its land before the tents were set up by the refugees. The 85 families that settled in Marlies at the time were Christian, according to the accounts of M. Eli, a Palestinian refugee from Haifa. These families formed the main group that founded the camp, and among the most prominent families that inhabited the camp at the beginning of its establishment were El Shami family and the Aziz families. It is reported that the Lebanese government distributed Christian Palestinian refugees according to their sect. So, Orthodox refugees lived in Marlias camp and Catholic refugees lived in the Bayi and Jisr al-Basha camps. The Lebanese civil war not only caused instability in the lives of the Lebanese, but the Palestinian population also suffered from the conflict. An impact was felt on the demography of Marlias camp as the camp lost its Christian majority due to displacement, and only two Christian families remained from that period. Then came the Zionist invasion of Lebanon in 1982, and the camp's war, and soon enough the population of Marlies consisted mainly of those displaced from other camps that were destroyed. Like the camp of Nabatiye, which was destroyed by the Zionist enemy in 1973, and the camp of Tel Azatar, which was destroyed in 1976. These new internally displaced refugees sought shelter elsewhere before moving to Marlies camp. The camp also serves as shelter for other Arab and foreign workers, which take advantage of the cheaper rent in Palestinian camps. Now Marlies has become a multinational camp. According to the General Census of Population and Housing in Palestinian Camps and Gatherings of Lebanon, conducted by the Central Statistics Department of Lebanon and the Palestinian Central Bureau of Statistics in 2017, under the supervision of the Lebanese Palestinian Dialogue Committee, the number of residents living in the camp up until December 2017 was 1,767 individuals. Because of the war in Syria in particular, with the successive waves of displaced coming to Lebanon, the results of the census showed that the number of Palestinian refugees registered in the camp with the Lebanese official departments amounted to 748 refugees only, or 42% of the total number of camp residents, and the rest consisted of 55 Palestinian refugees from Syria, 161 Lebanese citizens, 690 Syrians, and 113 of various Arab and foreign nationalities. However, it is worth noting that these numbers are not entirely reliable, as independent sources indicate that in reality the camp population is higher. In terms of social infrastructure in the camp, there is a medical clinic and El Kebri Primary School. Both are affiliated with UNRWA. In addition, there is one popular committee that includes Palestinian factions stationed in the camp. Prior to the camp's war in 1958, there was a Red Crescent clinic and hospital. However, they closed their doors, like many institutions affiliated with the Palestinian Liberation Organization. The PLO began reducing their infrastructure in the camps, especially after the Oslo Agreement. Marilias camp residents, like those in other camps, complain about the phenomenon of Palestinian unemployment, 
which is due to the various restrictive labor laws that are specifically designed to target Palestinians. In addition, residents suffer from the narrowness of alleyways and streets, and the general deterioration of their homes. Marlies Camp suffers from the chaos of the electricity networks due to poor funding and salty and unusable water running through the pipes. To solve this problem, a project funded by the Swiss government to desalinate water for drinking was completed, benefiting 250 houses in exchange for 20,000 Lebanese lira per month per house. The people of the camp suffer from the spread of diseases, poverty, and misery, and, like the other camps, from the problems caused by UNRWA's reduction of health and education services.